Tonight, the CDC with an urgent alert telling healthcare providers to be on the lookout for possible cases of bird flu. That's if they encounter sick patients who recently had contact with birds or livestock. One human case reported so far this year in the U.S., but officials say the risk to the public remains low. Here's ABC's M. Wynn. Tonight, the CDC warning healthcare workers and the general public about bird flu after a person in Texas tested positive this week in what is believed to be the first cattle to human transmission. This avian flu has now shown up in, in cows for the first time and has now infected a, a farm worker. But overall, the risk to the public currently is low. The virus, also known as H5N1, has been discovered in livestock across six states since March and in birds across eight states in the past 30 days, according to the Department of Agriculture. Calmaine Foods, the nation's largest supplier of eggs behind major brands like Eggland's Best, halting production and killing about 2 million chickens to prevent the illness from spreading. There is no risk to those that are consuming dairy and meat products. Officials stress only two cases have ever been discovered in humans in the U.S. The CDC says symptoms include eye redness, cough, sore throat and fever, even difficulty breathing, confusion or seizures. What we've seen before has not spread from human to human and it is possible that this virus could change um, at some point in the future and that's why we want to stay ahead of it. M. Wynn joining us now from Washington. So, M, what should consumers keep in mind for their egg and poultry products? Yeah, Witt. So for now, the CDC says that the people out there should be avoiding actually consuming any undercooked foods or raw milk products. Health officials also say for eggs, go ahead and continue to buy and go ahead and continue to eat these products because the risk of bird flu continues to stay excessively low and the cooking process actually kills the virus. Witt. All right, Em, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.